I ask to speak forth the knowledge of the Lion's Gate on August 8th. We're here to speak to you in the simplest sense of what is unfolding this great story. The Lion's Gate is a time to be reborn. It is a time to find our true purpose. It is a time to seek who we are. It is with this that we set in motion the play of the year, the story of Earth. It is a time where we come together and cherish and enjoy everything that has happened over the past year. And to move forth, to let go, and to start anew. For this is our true new year. This is where we come into the greatest of our being. This is the alchemical story of the now. The pyramids have brought forth the age of enlightenment, yet we have not seen this. We have fallen out of touch with our truth. As we step back forth into our glory, our being, the essence of who we truly are, this is a time for us to awaken. We may bicker about our neighbors, we may bicker about our environment and how things don't seem right and everything is just out of alignment, but really it is just a choice to come into that alignment, to come into the fullest part of our being. But it is a choice. We all have been offered this choice. We've been offered to it by ourselves. If we so realize, if we so choose, to honor that choice. And even with the honoring of that choice, we must still choose in which direction we go forth. The Lion's Gate is just a moment, it's just one of many moments, but it is a moment in which this choice is of the greatest power, in which this choice can affect the entire unfolding of the future of mankind, and most certainly within the unfolding of this year. So we all invite you to participate in your story and not allow yourself to be a victim of it anymore. For you, we have all been our own victims in thinking that this is a world in which we have no control. But in turn, this is a paradox in which we must let go of the control. We choose to move forth with flow, with grace, for the compassion in our hearts is what will guide us to the greatest lengths of our being. I honor all of you, for we are all one. We can say this word, this phrase, this idea, this notion has been brought forth time and time again that we are all one, that we are unity, but what does it truly mean? We must all ask ourselves, what does it mean to be one? I invite you to rejoin the collective. I invite you to be the unique self that you are among this magnificent collective. For both sides of the coin are relevant, black and white, in which we find the gray, this neutral part of our being, this silence in the eye of the hurricane. Sit with yourself, sit in the silence, and discover who you really are. And with that, we grow into the evanescence of everything that we are. For we are the co-creators of Earth. This is our right, this is our passage, but we have to choose to step into it. Do you choose to be the greatest potential of your being? Do you choose to play the character in which you were born into? Do you choose to let go 
and to be all that is. For that is the potential for us right now. It is the greatest of our choosing. Let us be conscious with the steps we take forth as we move across the earth plane. Let us be. Namaste.